Though being recognized as a kid's show, real audiences know that Clone Wars has a lot of mature content. In this video, I will be ranking the five most brutal Clone Wars episodes, all of which, in my opinion, will call into question the TV PG rating of the show. From the burning of villages to the slaughter of innocent people and torture of prisoners, I have selected the five most brutal episodes, in my opinion. Let's get started. At the number five spot, we have Massacre from season four. From the title of the episode itself, we can tell that this episode is brutal. The plot of Massacre is Count Dooku ordering Grievous to kill all of the Night Sisters, And that is exactly what happens. Ventress loses Talia and Karis, two of her closest friends, in her arms. And every single Night Sister, apart from herself and Mother Talzin, ends up dead. We also see the defoliator tank from season two in action. In addition to the death of the Night Sisters, we also see Mother Talzin torturing Dooku, which looks pretty painful. Like even though Count Dooku is a bad guy, watching him suffer like this, like it shows the brutality of the episode for sure. And the part where she stabs him through the head is just crazy. At the end of the episode, we can see the aftermath and the fear and sadness that Ventress has. The emotion shown by Ventress really speaks to how violent this episode really is. At the number 4 spot, we have Landing at Point Rain from Season 2, also known as the Second Battle of Geonosis. From the get-go of the actual battle, gunships go down every 5 seconds. Almost half of the gunships and ATTE carriers are shot down during the battle. There's also this iconic, ironic clone. All three Jedi generals' ships are shot down. The force and a bit of plot armor allows them to survive. But you can see here that the troopers around General Kenobi are dead. This episode really puts in perspective how horrible the Clone War actually was and the amount of death and suffering that was caused because of it. In addition to the brutality to the clone troopers, there's also brutality toward the Geonosian soldiers. And this is evident with... Like, bro, Kiari Mundi, chill out. Like, you don't need to burn them to the ground. The screams of the Geonosian soldiers kind of give me chills, to be honest. In third place, we have an extremely emotional episode, and that is where Order 66 is declared shattered. The reason I chose this episode instead of victory and death, which is where the entire 332nd company dies, is because the individual scenes in this episode, especially Darth Maul's hallway march, have way more brutal moments. Maul starts off with using the walls to behead a couple of clones, then slams the wall into these two clones. After that, he cuts a clone in half with one of the walls. I remember a YouTube video actually confirming that to be Ridge. And coming up in a bit is the most brutal part of all. Maul chops off this clone's hand and takes the device. This scene always gives me the chills because we see Rex's face completely entranced. These two were literally talking seconds ago. Moving on to the number two spot, which goes to Lawless from season four. This episode is genuinely one of my favorite episodes in the entire Clone Wars series. The emotion throughout it is just amazing and it has a really nice plot. We watch Obi-Wan suffer under Darth Maul, and the scene that's coming up right now that I'm about to show is definitely the most brutal part of the episode. The build-up to the scene is also pretty brutal. Darth Maul is choking Satine the entirety of when he's speaking to Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan is definitely suffering a lot in this moment, and obviously Satine as well.
we have Maul enjoying his moment right here. In addition to this whole Satine part, we also have Darth Sidious appearing on Mandalore and stabbing Savage and watching his green mist come out of him is a pretty brutal scene as well. After Savage dies, Maul doesn't last very long against Sidious and we can see this scene right here where Maul asks for mercy. After watching Maul get electrocuted, you may think that it's going to be hard to top that, but I think Carnage of Krell does just that. For starters, Krell creates this whole scenario where the clones are fighting each other. The whole idea is just horrid, and the scenes that come out of it are just horrible. We see Krell after that going on a rampage of killing clones left and right and these are clones that have been developed throughout the show no no major named clone deaths occur here but these clones have been humanized throughout this arc and their lives have been valued throughout the arc and now finally it comes to an end with the jedi general killing them straight up that's pretty brutal and watching these clones go down the way he's jumping up and down, flinging his double lightsabers. And then there's one point where he just like drops them. He, he gets his lightsabers out of the way. The reason he does this is definitely because he wants to just prove his superiority. He just wants to flex that he can win even without his lightsabers. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you think I missed any episodes, please let me know in the comments.